What is something normal that very scares you? Let's each stand up and introduce ourselves and say one interesting thing about ourselves. I'm Bob and I try to kill one random person every week. Is today Tuesday? Unexpected knocking on my door. I have nothing to hide, all my bills are paid but for some reason I get a mild panic attack when someone knocks. It actually evokes immediate anger in me. I have to calm my face before I open the door. Feels like such an intrusion on my day. WHO dares knock at this hour. 1 PM. Putting my hand into the garbage disposal to clear it. No one else allowed in the kitchen because I know they'll somehow turn it on. My wife broke a glass in the sink once and it went in the garbage disposal, clearing broken glass I couldn't see, was the stupidest thing I've ever done. Interviews? Them, tell us about yourself. Me, um. I. I. Still don't know how I got the job. Aging. The thought of getting to a point where I won't be able to take care of myself anymore scares the living daylights out of me. I'm much less scared of dying than I am of outliving my ability to do anything. People think I am crazy when I tell them I don't want to live past 75. See the problem I have with this idea is that by the time I'm 75 who knows what the world will look like. My grandma is 86 now and she's 100% the person to have agreed with you when she was young. No way she'd want to have missed the last decade though, she loves her great grandchild and she's also still mobile enough to do the things she's always liked doing. I agree with the sentiment but who knows what science will have thought of by the 2060s. I have an irrational fear that someone will break in and steal my parrot whenever I leave my house. Edit, Davy Jones is an African Grey worth over $4,000. He is currently standing on my head as I write this. He is becoming more and more valuable, as he is incredibly smart and already says over 50 words at one year old. He said his first word at two months and knew 14 at six months. I am homeschooling him, and teaching him basics like, colors and reading. Mirrors in a dark room. Like if you turn the light off in the bathroom before leaving or something. Feel like that's where the veil is thinnest there for some reason. Fun fact, if you were to ever see something in the mirror, it's because your brain is trying to fill in what's there based on a low stimulus, I think. It's called pareidolia, and is why we see faces in objects, and flowers or animals in clouds. I have a mirror in my bedroom and every night when I stay up late I see something in it but when I look directly at it it disappears kinda creepy lol but I try to ignore it. Yeah this is pareidolia I believe. Your brain can't see exactly what's there out of the corner of your eye, so it makes something up. This is gonna sound weird but seeing things in the middle of the road at night. I was once driving home one night and turn a corner to see a dog in the middle of the road. Nothing weird right? Completely normal sight in a suburb. Every instinct in my body was telling me to get the fuck out of there now. When I see stuff in the middle of the road at night it doesn't matter what it is I get chills, goosebumps, my ears stand on end and my palms sweat. It's happened with deer, dogs, people, raccoons, and even a trash can once. Can't explain it but it terrifies me. Teeth or more specifically, a medical problem with teeth. For me or anyone else, just creep me out. Edit, this was a bad idea, now everyone is telling me their terrible teeth story, please kill me. Dreams where my teeth fall out are the worst. Since I have many dental issues I'm so self-aware about my teeth it gets annoying. I also can't stand when my dentist's friends share something on social media concerning teeth with a photo, even if it's a whitening before and after picture. Gonna add to your nightmares. About a year ago, I was in my college dorm in the evening. Pain appeared in a molar of my upper right mouth. 
I didn't sleep a wink that night, as the pain grew so bad I had to hold a mouthful of water on the tooth, or the pain became unbearable. It was easily in the top three worst pains I've ever experienced. I called a dentist as soon as they opened up the next morning, and scheduled an emergency appointment. Turns out I had an abscess in that tooth, so I had to have a root canal done. The whole time I had to pee, as I'd been drinking water all night. Most hydrated I've ever been in my life. Space. Just looking up and coming to terms with how big it is and how little we know about it. Don't think of it as looking up, think of it as looking down into an infinite void, a true bottomless pit. That helps. When cockroaches, starts to fly. The problem is not when they appear, it's when they disappear. Don't know if this counts as normal but mental illnesses. The fact that your own brain can turn on you and create a reality different from the rest of us scares the shit out of me. Growing up in a very neurotic family, my biggest fear was that I was like them and lacked the ability to see myself and the world clearly. It was sort of like my mum is in complete denial that she has severe BPD and PTSD, her memories change depending on what she wants to remember, what if I'm the same and just don't know it. I basically gaslit myself. My mother has BPD amongst other things and she always changed stories or told new lies during stories and I just thought she was doing it on purpose. Never thought it would have been part of her mental illness. Wow. I didn't used to be too afraid of mental illness until I had a severe breakdown. I won't go into detail, but the thought that it could happen again keeps me awake at night. I haven't been the same since then, and it was two years ago. Shit is scary as hell. Small note, my breakdown wasn't a panic attack. It lasted for about a year and was severely debilitating, both mentally and physically. I don't remember most of it. Grasshoppers. They just are too unpredictable and it terrifies me. Frogs kind of too for the same reason, but not as bad. I feel this way about butterflies. They're pretty and harmless but something about the way they fly makes me eat myself away when they are near me. When I was about 10 I was helping the old woman across the road with her gardening when a frog jumped out towards her and with the dexterity I'd expect from an athlete unleashed a perfect right foot volley on the frog like a prime Wayne Rooney and kicked the poor thing over into next door's garden. She felt so bad and said it was just instinct after it jumped out at her but the way she perfectly did it made me think she was a secret frog kicker. Closing my eyes when shampooing. I've seen too many horror movies to enjoy darkness. It's an endless cycle. You close your eyes and lather your face as quick as possible but you go too fast and open your eyes and now your eyes burn, so you close your eyes and go back under the water stream and you do it all again. The ocean. I'm talking like out in the ocean, hundreds of miles from land, treading water, alone. Also, spiders. You would hate my sleep paralysis spiders. Kinda weird but when audio starts skipping when I'm playing my music, it scares me shitless. Totally agree. Instant anxiety kickstart for sure. Big something's wrong energy. Public speaking. My friends didn't really understand what a fear of public speaking meant till I showed them on my Fitbit how my heart was racing to about 150 BPM, because I had to give a speech for an election that I was running unopposed in. Like this shit is real. Did you win? It was an emotional defeat but I ended up with the position. I received some advice that helped me a ton with my public speaking. It went like this dude. Nobody's going to remember you, or what you said. The sound of someone riding a skateboard on the sidewalk behind me. I don't know why, but I freeze. Edit, yes, I am also unnerved by shopping carts behind me in the supermarket, I always pull over and let them pass if they are following too close to my heels. Apparently I was Achilles in a past life. I would like to add trucks. 
When I am walking on a sidewalk and hear a truck coming up behind me I die a little on the inside. TBH I think we'd all be scared if we heard a truck directly behind us on a sidewalk since they shouldn't be there. Phone calls, especially if it's not a number from my contact list. If it's important they can leave a message. I'm doing it right now. Learning to drive. Especially because I'm taking lessons, and after my lesson tomorrow, I'm gonna be on the highway and my lessons have a tendency to be really close together. Edit, thank you all so much for your kind advice. It's really helped calm my nerves. The future. And people asking me how I feel about seeming because usually I have no clue how I feel about something so I end up lying and just agreeing with them. It makes me feel so fake because everything I like and dislike generally based off of other people's opinion because I seriously do have zero clue how I actually feel about things. The only things I am certain that I do and don't like are things like food and music. Everything else even things like my hobbies I generally can't figure out if I actually like doing it or if it's because I grew up around people whose hobbies were the same as my hobbies I only just realized this too. Feeling warm. I had a vacation to China when I was a child, and ever since I woke up in the hospital there, I've been very, and I mean very, sensitive to heat. It could be 20 degrees Fahrenheit outside and I'd feel warm. The worst part is, usually when I get too hot, I have a wicked seizure and wake up on the floor with scraped knees or a bruise on my forehead. I dunno. Feeling warm terrifies me now because I just know I'm more likely to pass out. What is something normal that very scares you? Leave a comment and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more videos like this one.